Has your doctor recommended spinal cord stimulation as a possible treatment for your chronic pain? What is that and how would that process work? SES or spinal cord stimulation is a technology that we use for patients with chronic back and leg pain. It's typically done when patients are not a candidate for traditional spine surgery to help with their chronic pain. It's also recently been FDA approved for axial back pain as well as diabetic peripheral neuropathy. How it works is it overrides your body's perception of pain. In other words, when you experience pain in your back and legs, it sends a signal through your spinal cord to your brain in which you feel pain. SES overrides that signal and you feel nothing. Once you're deemed a candidate for SES, your pain management provider will often continue that workup. So I'm going to turn it over to Matt Dovey to explain that further. When we initially receive a spinal cord stimulation trial consultation from a local neurosurgeon like Dr. Grunch, we will initially bring the patient in and answer any questions they have. We like to describe spinal cord stimulation trial as a chance to take spinal cord stimulation out for a test drive to see if it covers the area of your pain, decreases your pain, and helps you improve your function. The patient will then return for the actual spinal cord stimulation trial. The trial itself takes less than an hour. We'll do it in our live fluoroscopy suite, and it's very similar to having a lumbar epidural steroid performed. At the time of the trial, we'll slide these temporary electrodes up into the lower thoracic spine, classically around T10 and T11. We'll then tape the battery pack and the unit to the patient's skin. It's able to go underneath their clothes, and they have very limited restrictions to just bending, twisting, and keeping the stimulator dry. They'll go home and have a chance to try out the unit for five to seven days. At the end of the trial, they will return for removal of the uh, temporary trial. If you have at least 50% reduction of pain, you are then a candidate to move on to implant. Nevro HFX IQ technology has a 90% success rate and we have seen that results in practice as well. It has been a game changer for patients, improving pain, improving overall quality of life and function. After a successful trial, you will be referred back to your neurosurgeon like Dr. Grunch for final implant. Once you've completed a successful trial, you may then be referred back to a spinal surgeon to implant the final device. There are some pain management providers that also do permanent implants. When the final implant is put in, we make an incision at around the T10 and T11 area, which in women is right around the bra line. That allows us to get access to the spine to put the permanent electrodes under the skin and within the epidural space. Those electrodes are what contacts your spinal cord to override your body's perception of pain. Those wires are then tunneled under your skin and a separate incision is made around your hip level to place the battery. This battery is implanted under the skin and I tell patients it's about the size of a pack of dental floss. This applies the power to the stimulator and allows it to work. These batteries are rechargeable and with the HFX IQ technology, it allows you to communicate with the device to your smartphone. This allows you to get better control of your pain faster. The whole procedure typically takes about 45 minutes and it's usually outpatient, meaning that you can go home the same day of surgery. Once your representative programs your device, you can begin to use it almost immediately. I hope this video helps explain how trial and permanent implantation of a spinal cord stimulator work. Follow us for more content like this.